Hello guys, it's your boy Jimishini and today we're going to go over yet another option to invest into that I've been asked about a lot. Before we get into the video though, make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you enjoy my content as only 10% of all my viewers are subscribed. It's totally free and only takes a few seconds plus you would make my day just a little better. So thank you and let's get straight into the video. Today we'll talk about if the broken fan cakes is a good investment. As always you can find all the timestamps in the description if you want to skip to a specific topic, although I would appreciate if you stick around for the whole video to really understand every single point I'm trying to make today. A few months back in my case investment guide I said that there's a few fundamental factors to think about before investing into a certain case. Items within the case, the supply of the case, the demand of the case in relation to the items and the consumption versus drop rate. and if it's an active or inactive drop. So let's walk over those step by step for the Operation Broken Fan Case. Supply of the Case With the new star system, the supply of operation items is way different than it has ever been before, since this is the first time users can actually freely decide on what item they can get. The CSGO Broken Fan Case is one of two options, together with the Commander May Agent, where the outcome of what you get is 100% the same at all times, making it a very money reliable reward to get. Plus, a very liquid one, since cases are pretty much the most purchased and traded item in CSGO. With its pretty stable price of around 80 cents, I think it's fair to say a lot of people buy it simply to sell it on the market and get the fair share of that price to go the safe route of not risking to get a lower valued skin, sticker or operator. And to be fair, you can't really blame them as it is mathematically one of the best and safest options to pull profit from the operation pass. The case being the safe route, however, undoubtedly also results in being frequent claimed by a lot of people which results in, you guessed it, high supplies. A calculation by the reddit user Fjedjik revealed that there have been around 1.8 million broken fan cases opened in the last 10 days. The number of total awarded cases however will forever remain unknown as it's pretty much impossible to calculate unlike the last time where a set amount of missions gave a user a set amount of shattered web cases. In the case of the shattered web operation it was 8 cases every 100 missions which like I said in my video ended in around 10 10.88 million shattered web cases being rewarded in total, which might sound high at first, but if we compare it with the numbers of only open broken fan cases from the second week and calculate a total open by the end of the operation, we see that even this number already is way higher than the total rewarded shattered web cases, including opened and kept as well. So it's safe to say that the operation broken fan supply is going to be much greater than the ones of previous operations. Not only is this due to the fact that players can claim rewards as they like, but also because of rising players player numbers and more and more people buying operation passes and redeeming cases. How great that supply is going to be in total is very hard to estimate and in general also the total unbox number is very rough as we can't predict how the opening hype around the case is going to develop and if people are going to claim more of them in the future or switch to something else like operators or stickers. Overall though we are going to be left with a pretty big supply compared to previous operations which of course is important for the investment. Now let's get to the demand of the case. The demand of a certain case is very much depending on what items are inside, which is correlative to consumption versus drop rate. The Operation Broken Fang holds 17 weapon skins and one rare, which is normal for modern cases. The items within it are pretty new but very much liked ones. The two covids are reappearing patterns from previous guns which are liked by the community a lot. The pink and purples also are pretty decent which is important in terms of consumption and opening ratios for the case. But most importantly it holds gloves. Not any but new gloves with new unique finishes so far only obtainable in the broken fang case. This is probably one of the most crucial things in terms of consumption as these new gloves are still very rare and very expensive when compared to the older ones. So in terms of demand this case looks pretty solid so far. It statistically is being opened a lot however we don't exactly know how many of those cases are being supplied. So as of right now we can't say if the drop rate is vastly higher than the consumption rate. If so the case will lose its value eventually but there's a few more factors to take into consideration here which we'll talk about in the next point. Active and inactive drops. 
The most important aspect of this case as an investment long and short term is if it's going to be discontinued after the operation or moved into the active drop pool. Now if you ask me I'm very much confident in saying that this case is going to be discontinued as it happened to the last two operation cases as well. However there's always that small chance of Valve fooling people into thinking that a regular pattern is going to occur which they end up completely overthrowing. In the end active or inactive drop is something we can't predict but just speculate about. Another the factor that is very important is that if the case in fact gets discontinued that doesn't necessarily mean that all the items within the case also get discontinued. As seen in the shattered web case which was discontinued after the operation the knives made a return. However, there's also cases where the rares didn't make a return and only appeared once. The CS20 case with its classic knife for example. It's always very much depending on Valve and how they feel about the economical impact such a decision would have. It's the exact same for the Operation Broken Fang case. We have new gloves that haven't been seen in any other case so far. Would Valve create gloves for them to only be in one case? Probably not. Valve was pretty lazy when it comes to new cases and I don't see them creating new gloves to be in one case only. But can we be sure about them returning then? Also no, Valve could just be tricking people into thinking that this is going to be another shattered web case scenario coming up when actually they plan on not releasing them again to make the economy stay unpredictable. This would actually be a pretty smart move, but no one knows if Valve thinks the same way I do. I personally wouldn't be willing to take the risk of holding onto them for a long time as I would fear the same thing happening as it did to the shattered web rares. However there's still a chance of the gloves not being continued which would lead to some pretty big profit predictably. Now coming to the last point, investing and selling. So overall we can say that this case is going to have the biggest supply ever out of all operation cases. But does that necessarily mean it's a bad investment? No. As long as the demand outweighs the supply or the demand stays as high as it is right now, this could actually be a very good investment and I'll tell you why. If it's going to be discontinued after the operation, which is very likely to happen, the prices are going to spike for a brief moment in which it would be smart to sell the remaining ones you bought during the sale at best. This spike is mainly due to people mass buying up on seeing the safety of the case not being continued and in their eyes therefore being a safe investment for the time being. However, you should probably sell at the peak of that spike as I said before after it's announced that it's discontinued because prices will slowly fall off for a bit which is also visible in the shattered web case prices. In the unlikely event of the case being continued, you should probably actually try to get rid of your cases as quick as possible even if that means a smaller loss as these will then take ages to recover in price. Again, buying the case at the sale there is still somewhat of a risk left because we just can't be 100% sure that they are going to be continued or discontinued. Now for the important part though, Valve releases about 3 cases a year on average. With the gloves in this case being completely new, they are very very likely to appear in the next case again. I think that you shouldn't hold on to these for no longer than 3 to 4 months as this is mathematically the time it will take for the next case to be released. They will rise in value in that time period no matter how great the supply is since the items are still very valuable within the case. However as soon as a case with similar or even the same gloves is released then these will drop in value and be a long 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 term investment just like the shadow web case turned out to be. Again you can't be 100% sure that the gloves will return. If they don't, then of course these cases will be major stonks, but I personally wouldn't be willing to take that risk. The best compromise is to sell most of your cases until you have turned a decent profit and keep some just in case the gloves are actually not going to be continued. I see a small chance of this actually happening as there have been new glove files already been found in CSGO, which might suggest that we are going to get even more glove finishes instead of the old ones with this operation. For me personally, this isn't enough evidence to risk such a high loss again as it happened to me with the shattered web cases as well. So a rough overview of this investment. Buy when the operation goes on sale, sell when the operation broken fan case is discontinued or continued as prices peak or before they fall depending on what is going to happen. If the broken fan case is discontinued, rebuy after the first peak and keep them for about 3 to 4 months and sell before a new case comes out to not risk losing a lot of money. Don't sell every single case though, just keep a few hundred to maybe get huge profit if the gloves are not being continued. Of course they could always return even 
even a few cases later, so be aware of that. In general speaking, the Operation Broken Fan case is pretty much in the hands of Valve and how they are going to handle the case, and especially the gloves within the case. The supply for this case is going to be huge, but the demand will stay high as long as especially the gloves are only obtainable in that one case. Once they are available in a different case that is cheaper though, it will lose a lot of value similar as to what happened to the Shadow Web case. I don't really see any of the other items from the case carrying the prices to stay high other than the gloves, so yeah, be aware of that. In general, this is not something I would want to keep as long term because we have high supply, possibly the same risk in another normal case and with that low demand in the original broken fan case. For short term, however, this could be a very, very good investment, although might it be a little bit more risky than my usual investments. I'll definitely buy some of those, but as I said, keep in mind to sell them early to not risk them losing a lot of value as it happened to the shattered web cases. As always though, don't trust me purely. This is all just my predictions and my idea of how this case is going to work out. Never invest everything into one option and always remember you haven't lost money as long as you don't sell. With those words, have a nice week, Edgy Machine and out. So much I don't really know what's like I'm floating in a boat and the tide is rolling by Surely but slowly and I'm hoping my rowing will override But knowing this road of mine